Lightning will start that line that was so good last night. Anthony Cirelli with Hagel and Stamkos. Fourth and final meeting of the regular season between the Lightning and the Canadians. All three games so far have been close ones. The last two have been one goal games. There's a long shot and Tompkins feels the puck for the first time tonight. Sears that one in the corner. That one ricochets off his body as well. So he's got 11 points in his last 11 games. That's more than he had all last year. Pass to Gallagher. Shot rebound. Scores. Batted in by Yoel Armia. And it's 1-0 Montreal. That's always important. The Lightning don't sort it out. There's the loss of the faceoff, and then the coverage in front of the net just gets blown. Matt Dumba moves way up into the slot area. That doesn't help. And then Lilleberg has drifted off to the side, chasing one of his guys. There's Lilleberg, but that means there's nobody right in front of Tompkins. And Tompkins can't quite handle the rebound. Had he been able to club that one and hold on, it would have helped. Three-point lead over Nathan McKinnon, who is in action later tonight. Oh, Hagel got hit pretty hard on the side wall there as he shot the puck around the boards. Good drop in front point. His shot rebound scores. Nick Paul power play goal, and the Lightning have tied the game. That's the best way to take effect when things get a little bit rough and the Lightning score on the power play. Good. Sure, you're going to go a couple of games here or there where it's not going to happen. But this number one power play has been number one for so long. I've forgotten the last time it was number two or worse. It was Kucherov who starts it as always. Drayton Point, watch him get his stick available, even just in a crowd, and it's quick. And then Nick Paul just sort of surfing through the area, gets to the right place. It goes off his shin pad right in front, and not much Primo could do. How he got his stick directly on the puck he had to at that exact last second. Now A.C. Mon, he'll try to go to the net, scores! What a goal by Mikey A.C. Mon. See Brendan Gallagher try to drive the net from an impossible angle at one end, and Mott makes the defensive play. Hayden Primo, I think it made the save on it, but Struble, the defenseman, is trying to help him out. And I think actually he's going to help this puck go in. It may have gone in off him into make matters worse Primo gets a real snow shower but Ace Mott loves to drive in there and there you see the snow shower that that Primo got from his defenseman that's a gutsy play driving in from that angle that looked like yeah but they're going to be starting on the road you know that so that's important to get that road game going in solid Montreal starts by dumping the puck back in the Tampa Bay zone Here's Gallagher in behind the net, checked by Chernak to Hahn. Back in line, Savard with a shot that is blocked right in front by Paul. Rebound, Tompkins is down, big scramble in front. And finally, a whistle as Jackeye. Inside, new hook, his drive hits Gallagher in front. Armia, his shot, scores! Yoel Armia with his second goal of the game has tied it back up for the Canadians. The ring around shot and it hits the helmet on the ice so he can't play it. So Montreal gets an immediate scoring chance and they go on from there. It was Gallagher was able to corral the puck first, took it to the net. The Lightning are scrambling around. Montreal's got some pressure. They eventually get it back to the net, and boom, they put it in the back of the net to tie things up. But it all started with that crazy helmet being loose on the ice. Tompkins didn't really... Mark in behind that Montreal net, now into the corner, lifted out of the back end, and pulled down by DeHaan. Hagel lets it float back to the line, across here, Stankos scores! Steven Stankos with a goal in four straight games, and the Lightning retake the lead. An outstanding play from him at the point. It jumps over Hagel's stick. DeHaan sees the ice really well. A diagonal cross-ice pass to Cirelli has Montreal reacting to him. That means that they leave Stamkos alone on the opposite side of the ice. Sorelli sees him as an easy pass across the ice to Stammer. And it's on the tape. Stammer had disappeared behind the net. Montreal didn't pick him up. 
And he's got the puck again. Emil Lilleberg at center, throws it into the Montreal zone. Jack Eye picks it up there for the Canadians. Pass goes right back to Paul. Scores! A great shot by Nick Paul. His second of the game. And it's 4-2. Speaking of guys who are on a pretty good roll, add Nick Paul to that list as well. He did a terrific job. He got some help, but he was in the right place off his leg, and then he got a rebound. And then this one, part of the four check, and Nick Paul coming back through the middle of the ice gets handed a great opportunity. Asimont is the one who he got a foot on it comes right to Nick Paul. Just a few seconds remaining in the minor to Matheson. Duclair. Steps in, feeds it in the corner for Sorelli. Back up shot to Radish. Here's Hagel. His shot. Scores! A shot from Brandon Hagel. Primo got a piece, but it crawls up and over his shoulder, and it is 5-2. It was a presence by Duclair right on the doorstep. Seemed to distract him a little. Look at Duclair. Yeah, and I just Duclair does a heck of a job, actually. He takes his eyes away. I don't think Primo saw this quickly enough. He's late to react. That one just launched off the stick of Hagel. It's a really good shot by Hagel. You'll get a good idea here. But it's still a bit of a misplay. He takes a look, takes the shot, and a blocker save made by Caden Primo. Stamp goes with another goal tonight. He's up to 33. Comes free for Paul. Point across. Kucherov scores! Nikita Kucherov with a bullet, a one timer, and it is 6 2. Well, you can't just let somebody else do it. You got to dig them out. Stammer does a nice job along with help from Nick Paul. And then Brayton Point's got time and room. Kucherov just makes himself available, and that is a brilliant shot. I mean, those are some. Armia, he's got the two goals for the Canadians. Back to Newhook with a shot saved by Tompkins. Now up ahead, here's Hagel. Hagel with a break going in, and he's stopped by Primo. He's got it going again. I love how you say he's built up a bit of a lead, and, and he has four points, but that's like one night's work for any one of those three guys, yeah. the way they've been piling up the points. But in behind his own net is Calvin DeHaan. Montreal got two shots on net on that man advantage, but again, they come up empty thanks to more great penalty killing by the Lightning here. Caulfield dancing around, got it in front, shot, rebound. Tompkins is down, and he's got the puck. Tompkins left alone ends up cleaning that one up. Hasn't had a ton of work tonight, just 19 shots. Shot tip, score! A long range slap shot tipped in front. I believe this is going to be Slavkovsky's goal. And it is 6 3. It's a, it's a real distraction. Watch the broken stick top left of your corner, right there. He actually shoots right through it. See how the blade went flying about 30 feet across the ice? Let's see what Tompkins sees here. The puck's going to come off on a weird angle. I think that distracted him a little bit. Puck goes into the corner. Paul shoved down. Here's Suzuki. Chips it back to Caulfield. Turns and fires a shot. Rebound picked up by Slavkovsky. Slavkovsky, Suzuki, Caulfield scores! And this top line gets another. Montreal gets out against the Paul line and they show some good quickness and some good exchanges. Slavkovsky in the corner gets the attention of a couple of guys and that was key. And then the pass behind to Suzuki and this is a timing pattern and Caulfield the, sh the shooter comes in. Timing is perfect. Puts it back up top to Mike Matheson. One timer saved by Tompkins. Matheson again. Kudrov strips him. Little bank. Stegos with the empty net. Yes, sir. He's just been hanging on. A couple of key turnovers haven't helped him, but this time Kucherov does a terrific job checking. Gets it to Stammer. Stammer even falling down knows where the net is. Another point for Kucherov. Another goal for Stammer. Loses his footing there and still hits the empty net. And that's a sigh of relief based on the last. And the Lightning are going to sweep the regular season series against the Canadians, taking all 
four games as we hit the horn.